Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and Twitch.tv slash Play underscore Agricola. I'm playing an EIK WM France Tech G456 game with Wolfie, Jingao, and Payne. <clears throat> Looking at my first pile, well, Child Psychologist is in the pile, so the pick is just Child Psychologist. This card is amazing. Um... Yeah, the ability to play occupations without using an action is already quite strong, and then these only cost two food each time. There is the downside that you don't get to play stage one occupations with them, but that just means you get to spend stage one setting up your uh, your feeding. Whoa! So, Payne just passed me Farm Steward. So Payne got something better than Farm Steward. Uh, if Cattle Rancher could come back, that would be pretty good. Cattle Rancher is a solid way for me to get all the food that I need. Because, of course, I need to get a ton of food with one action. But uh, certainly taking Farm Steward here. Yeah, if Cattle Rancher could come back, that would be best. Maybe Shovel Worker, depending on what other occupations I see. If I see some reason to fence really early, maybe Shovel Worker would be good. But I think probably if we could get that cattle card back, that would be good. Oh, man. Um, I think this pick is probably just Immigrant Son. I think Church Warden is quite solid. I could definitely consider Church Warden here, but with Child Psychologist, uh, Immigrant Son is just a pretty easy three fields. Child Psychologist again, yeah, I know. Yeah, and I gotta keep Church Warden in mind. Would be nice to take it myself, but... Immigrant Side is too good to pass up. I play seven occupations way too easily not to take it here. Hello, Rilo Kren. In my first pack with Child Psychologist, not much. Not much. It was like a pretty easy Child Psychologist pick. Okay. Um... This pick is kind of interesting. Uh... Fence dealer is fine, prosecutor is fine, gluten free baker is fine, scapegrace is fine. Okay, I won't take scapegrace because I'm, yeah, I'm going to play seven occupations with child psychologist. So not scapegrace, uh, not plow deal maker because of immigrant son, we could maybe do livestock expert, but I'm going to table it for now. Could do one any of these three. I've seen no source of vegetables yet, so not gluten-free baker. So we could do fence dealer. We could do prosecutor. Um, so let's say we're going to go for five normal family growth actions. So four rooms plus farm steward. With Fence Stealer, we would do four fields in tight. We would have three, and then we'd have four spaces to cover with uh, with plows. Or we do a bigger six space for 12, and then we have to cover two. Yeah, Fence Stealer is probably just the pick here. You give up two points on fencing, but you gain six wood, so. I'm probably, no, I have Farm Steward. I'm not going to build three rooms. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to take Braid Maker here. With Fence Dealer, I only really want to fence one time. I'm not going to play Sheep Whisperer. I could think about a card like Boyer. 
But uh, Braid Maker is a lot more reliable. Being able to turn a reed into two food could be useful. And uh, maybe I want to build the Basket Maker's Workshop. So. And Cattle Rancher came back, so that's pretty good. I do like Cactus Lover a lot. I think it's a very good card, but uh, this hand, I've not seen any reason to build stables yet. And uh, Cattle Rancher kind of does what I want it to want it. So if I build a Cooking Hearth, or even just a fireplace, uh, I have access to a four food action with Cattle Rancher. So that'll help me play my occupations nice and easily. Uh, this one is probably just Harvest Helper. I haven't seen a way to get grain yet. I could maybe think about Parvenu with uh, Braid Maker in hand. Double my read. No, I'll just take Harvest Helper. I'm unlikely to want to play Harvest Help um, Parvenu really early, so. Oh man, uh, we got Lighthouse here. Hmm. So Lighthouse plus Farm Steward is definitely a thing. We've also got Quarry, so I think I probably just have to take Quarry, right? Oh man, and Ashbringer too. Huh. So there's a bit of a day labor combo in this game, which I don't normally love when people go all in on the day labor combos, but uh, how do I not take Quarry here, right? And then if Ashbringer could come back, great. That would be great. Yeah. Passing Lighthouse is hard. Lighthouse might actually come back because of Church Warden. I could, uh, oh man, and then we got Grotto here. <laughs> Clay Tablet is quite good too. And Expansion Plans. Oh man. <laughs> all the Stonehouse cards, all the Stonehouse Miners are in this game. Um, huh. So for me, the pick is between Grotto and Expansion Plans. So with Expansion Plans... It's a free stone room, which is great. If if uh, Lighthouse does not come back, though, Expansion Plans is a lot worse. Um, however, do I have the food to pay for Grotto early? Like, I really, it would really depend on me getting my Cattle Rancher combo online. Yeah, because if I don't get Expansion Plans, or if I don't get Lighthouse back, Expansion Plans is kind of slow, because I can't even farm Steward Grow until after the Expansion Plan room has come back. I'm going to take Grotto here. I think Grotto is a bit more reliable than Expansion Plans. Any stone ox in the in the draft? Um, no, no stone house occupations. No, there weren't any. Um, hmm. This might be a game to take rooster in. This might be a game where reed stone food in round one is really valuable. Or occupation into two clay to uh, build the first fireplace. We've also got Lorelei, which I could build uh, with the grotto resources. I could build an oven. Mm. Could take trees for the citizens with quarry and with doing a small house. I probably should have more access to more wood. So then a card like Trees for the Citizens becomes better. I think probably, well, Lorelei could just be a stone for a point, which I should have extra stone with Quarry. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take Rooster here. I think this is a game where I don't want to be last. Yeah. I want to set up my Cattle Rancher 
Grotto as soon as possible. Yep. Oh, wow. Pay five food per round. <laughs> um... Black Swan Lake or Foreign Labor? I think those are the two picks. Uh, foreign Labor obviously rewards going to a stone cart. Now, I keep seeing all these stone house miners, so that tells me, well, like, Wolfie would have opened this card. So Wolfie might have snatched up Lighthouse. And if Wolfie snatched up Lighthouse, then he would have also taken uh, Expansion Plans. Um, I think his Church Warden's in the game, so I, I'm, co I'm hoping that Church Warden sc scared everyone away from taking the Stonehouse Miners. So, I think I'm going to take... Well, actually, does does Foreign Labor work nicely with Church Warden? It's a guest token, right? What's the text on Church Warden? Better look it up. Five people, yeah, so uh, the pick has got to be foreign labor, yeah, because of the church warden interaction, yeah. Yep. And Ashbringer came back, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, clay tablet is great, I'm surprised it's still here. Uh, Flagon has a way to use the clay from Grotto, is okay. It does depend on someone else building the well. Well, I might want to build the well, if, depending on when my quarry is online. I don't know if I'm like all that likely to play ox goad. It's only I only want two fields from it at most, so I think we probably just take flag in. Wow, piggy bank came all the way back. Can I play piggy bank? Well, I'm not all that likely to play these other two cards, so. I'll take piggy bank. I don't know if I will play it or not. So yeah, lighthouse and expansion plans are out there, which means that going to stone early is not really what I want to do. What I want to do is I want to grow into my grotto. I want to grow into my grotto and then grow with farm steward. So I'm playing Rooster so that I'm not last. I don't want to be last. I want Occupation into two Clay. And then I want round two to be Major. Yeah. So I'll play Cattle Rancher here right at the start, I think. Can play Braid Maker to scare the others from Basket Maker's Workshop and then build it with Piggy. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of stuff that I can do, that's for sure. It's probably going to depend on what round uh, Major Minor comes out in. That's going to make a that's going to make a big difference. So certainly I'm taking two clay with my second action, and then hopefully round two is Major Minor. If it's not, I can always day labor grab a cattle then. Oh, I should show my cards. Um, so I do have to pay a food for the cattle. Something to keep in mind until round six. And then Wolfie plays Synergizer. This is one of the best occupations in this set. One of the best occupations in this set. Synergizer is really good. Um, Plow is more contested than the one grain space, but the fact that it gives vegetables is amazing. It's amazing. So Zhengao took uh, three wood ahead of Reedstone food. Interesting. So Wolfie does the typical theater play that we've come to expect. Yeah, Synergizer is really good. Really good.
plow once in round one, place a vegetable, then you plow two more times, place grain each time, then you sow two grain and a vegetable in round four, and you have a huge number of points. Shinja is doing start player here, start player green pepper patch. Um, there was um, the vegetable card that sows if you have space on a field. Hobby farmer. So I would assume Jingao has hobby farmer and is going to get an extra food per harvest from sowing that. Occupation circus manager here. Okay. To help spam out occupations. Might have taken a card like scapegrace, something along those lines. Um, play an occupation again. Maybe. Yeah, if I play an occupation here and then second action is, um, yeah, play child psych here. Then my second action will be day labor. And then if round three is not major minor, I can start player grotto to get major minor round four and then pick up the four sheep. Here's my child psychologist a little earlier than it needs to come out, but that's okay. I needed to get to two occupations for my grotto. If anyone wants to just build and grow normally, they will do extremely well in this game. Like Pain! Although Pain doesn't really like to build and grow normally. <laughs> he might be the best person to be passing this kind of game to. Because Pain does not like to do normal stuff. Pain is going to start player extensive resume. That works. Get a cattle. Somebody does have expansion in Lighthouse. Yep. Might be Pain. He's gotten Reedstone food. But he's gotten Reedstone food sort of by default. He hasn't like actively gone and, and sought it out. I don't believe. Uh, I need the first action start player here, which kind of blows, but not too much I can do about it. First action start player to make sure I get uh, those sheep next round. So that I can do two clay fireplace into three sheep. I could pick up clay again so that I could build a cooking hearth instead of the um, two clay fireplace. It's a food different on my cattle, uh, but it's no different on the sheep, so maybe. Maybe that's what I will do. Kind of want to save my clay for an oven with Ashbringer. Mm. I guess I can buy two clay and that's two clay for my two clay reno. I guess I could consider still building a wood room because of how aggressively the other players are not taking wood resource actions. Like if I take three reed here, I probably take three reed anyways, realistically. Yeah, three reed is just a great move here for me. If I take three reed and, you know, two four, two four wood actions fall into my lap, like how am I not? I would definitely go for that, right? So I'll buy a clay at the end of the round.
So Payne played extensive resume and then no, um, no occupations, which is a little weird. So no one has a clay yet, but I need the food before the, the end of this harvest because I want to keep buying goods off of my grotto. So first action two clay fireplace it is. Wolfie's ready to build, Payne is ready to build, Jingao's ready to build. All three of these guys have the resources for a wood room. So that might mean that nobody's playing Lighthouse. Potentially. if Especially if Lighthouse had expansion plans. Like, it's possible Wolfie saw expansion plans after passing Lighthouse and thought, Ooh, I can't pass that. In which case they would be in separate hands, which would be good. So uh, four food goes to feeding my family. Two food goes towards buying a clay. And two food left over. So then I can reno and do the cooking hearth upgrade to get extra food out of my cattle. Or potentially I reno and, and play a stone oven so that I could play Ashbringer on f uh, for family growth. Thing is I would need an extra clay grab and an extra stone grab for Ashbringer. So unsurprisingly, here's the hobby farmer. We knew that was coming. Uh, Church Warden has not come out yet. Oh, Payne has Writing Maniac. Okay. Also got six clay, which is a good move. Am I going to get past six wood here? If they want to pass me six wood, that'd be great. And it looks like that is what's happening. Why am I struggling so much? There we go. So Paid's going to play five occupations for the cost of one with Writing Maniac. Well, obviously the cost is the food as well, but for one action. All right, we got six wood. Great. Don't see any reason why I'm not taking six wood here. Yeah. Bane plays shovel worker with his writing maniac. Okay. Might be a sign that he's going to fence and then not build a wood room. Five clay reno clay oven. I don't have a stone yet, but I would do that in round six. Maybe, yeah. I'm wondering if I should just build a wood room. If family growth comes out in round seven, then the family growth, even without room space, is going to be extremely difficult to get onto. And the family growth with room space will also be difficult. Now I do have foreign labor, which gets around that. I just have to make sure I play foreign labor by round 13 at the latest. Ideally though, I probably want to play it in round 11. Round nine would be max value. That's for sure. 
Don't know if I'll be in stone by then. Is kind of the question. Wolfie did not build. Wolfie took four wood. Payne is renovating, building a cooking herd. Okay, so Payne's got expansion plans in Lighthouse, certainly. So I should do this. I should build a room. Yeah, I'm going to build a, a wood room. And then I buy a clay end of round. Wolfie did not build. He hasn't built yet. I don't know why he's showing three rooms. That's weird. Oh. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that people should not do. Oh. Oh, that's something that people really should not do. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, Wolfie. Oh, man. Wolfie well, went on start player to play a minor but not take start player. The problem is he's saying, oh, I don't take start player because I don't want to affect the... I don't want to do that. I don't want to steal start player for Zhingao. Thing is, he could have just played it on major minor. Like, there was no reason he could not have played Wolf working gloves on major minor. Like, that makes no sense. And, uh, yeah, we just had... Um, First uh, family growth fall into our lap. Yeah, he's just recognizing that. Okay, uh, what am I doing here? Am I playing piggy bank? Am I playing, probably not playing piggy bank anymore because I'm gonna kind of grow pretty quickly. So probably just play flag in here. I don't really have anything else to play, so. Uh, both the cooking hearths are gone, which is annoying. Especially annoying since I plan to eat a bunch of cattle, but uh, oh well. Oh well. I mean, I can't complain about the first family growth falling into my lap in round six. So here's flagon, which I played, which pushes me towards um, building the well and Wolfie plays potato dibber on start player so Wolfie correctly recognizing that Zhingao can't stable block so yeah that worked out I guess if round 7 was family growth he could have start playered again to jump me as well Unless I first action start played, which I would have had to. Yeah, maybe the move, I mean, the move was really good for me. So that's why I don't really think it was a good move. But maybe it was good enough for the other players that it's fine. This is a, day labor is a five food action for me now because I don't have to pay a food for the cattle anymore. And buy a stone. There we go. Well, sometimes you have all these plans and then they just go out the window because nobody wants to build a room. And sometimes you get help from the other players as well. I mean, I guess I was still start player from playing Grotto in round three, right? No one else was, was taking start player at all. Which is very fortunate for me to start player in round three and still be the start player in round six, which lets me family growth ahead of Jingao. Now, of course, Wolfie did sort of start player round five to block Jingao from being able to take it, but...
start player braid maybe um Yeah, so I definitely am going to play an occupation here, and it seems like Braid Maker is probably the best one to play. Fence Dealer, Farm Steward, Harvest Helper all want to come out later. Pain plays Animal Husbandry Worker. All right. So there's six rounds left, so he can fence 14. Nice. Oh, you know what? Animal Husbandry Worker is bad for my Fence Dealer. Maybe I figure it doesn't matter because I'm going to win the Church Warden bonus, assuming that Church Warden even comes out, which is not guaranteed, actually. Anyone playing it now would be probably giving me the points. Pain is going to take the sheep. Fine. Uh, oh, child psychologist. I, of course. Thank you. And there should be one less stone here. And when I buy a stone at the end of the round, I can family growth. So I could start player here. I don't have a start. I don't have a minor to play on start player though. So I don't think I will. I know I can jump. I won't start player basket makers workshop. What I'll do first move is take the four read. Take the four read first. Because if I start player and then don't, uh, if I start player and then don't get a, one of the read actions, that would be really bad. So I'll be a little, maybe a little careful. Wolfie plays the gluten-free baker. Hey, that's my card. No, I didn't. Uh, so four wood would be great. Uh, Payne is going to reno lighthouse, I assume. Whose food is this back on round five? Someone put food on round five. I don't know why it's still there. It's pains from being fourth. Oh, okay. Since I started fourth and I played rooster. Um,
I don't think this doesn't make sense to me. Wolfie's arguing that because I played Wol Rooster, I didn't actually start the game fourth, which I didn't. I didn't get fourth action in round one, but I did start the game when we rolled the die and determined who was start player. I was the fourth player. I'm looking to. I'm gonna look to see if we have. Uh, is there any discussion about it? The food is assigned to Let's see if there's a discussion about it. I have one seventh less miners than everyone else. I am correct. Yeah, that's that's what I think is the case too. Argue the card design of Rooster is just make it seem like you're setting the order. Um, HIKLJ, the thing is, I get to see what the result of the dice roll is before I decide whether or not I play Rooster. So I get to see what the dice roll is because that's part of the setting up the game. And then Rooster is before the start, before the start of round one, which would be once we actually start playing the game proper. Um, I'm trying to find if anyone's had a discussion about this. These are all really old. Yeah, this is not a current game. These are not current games. I'm pretty sure they're just wrong. The loser of the dice roll gets it. Anyways, Wolfie doesn't Wolfie doesn't want to understand. That's fine. Uh, okay, so I take four wood here and then I also need to take day labor for five food. And then I will buy a cattle and feed six. And Jingao just left.
I feel this is, you know what, this feels like, um, this feels like the, um, whatever conversation. This feels like the private school and growing your family discussion where I'm just like, why is everyone like willfully not thinking about things in the simplest terms? <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm right, but that's okay. Shingo is playing gold mine. So that means I get to play an occupation. No, I don't. I only have one food. Oh no, I can eat a reed in the harvest. So if I eat a reed in the harvest and I get to play an ox, then I could play immigrant sun. Pain is getting the six wood. I don't know why Pain got skipped there. That's weird. Uh, start player basket makers workshop is what I'm doing. So I played Immigrant Sun, which is gonna be three fields when I play my remaining three occupations. And then I start Player Basket Makers Workshop. Since my grotto is now empty, and I can play Quarry on uh, Family Growth, which is pretty great. We can have a discussion about what people think the answer is. I mean, I, so for me, so Wolfie's arguing that whoever is seated fourth in round one is the person that gets the food, which makes sense from the sense of, uh, from the perspective of you're trying to make sure that the person who's in fourth gets some compensation because their actions are often very bad, especially if the person in first or second takes start player um in round one because then in round two they're also kind of screwed because then in round two there are often six good actions and the seventh is usually pretty bad and the eighth is usually pretty bad um so from that point of view it makes sense for pain to get the one food as a compensation however i don't i just don't think that that's how the breakdown of the game works i think um what happens is during the set game setup you roll the die and you determine this, who is the start player and it's Wolfie. And because Wolfie is the start player, that means I get one food at the start of round five because I'm seated to the right of Wolfie, okay? Then we begin the game and we go towards the start of round one and then at the start of round one, I play Rooster. I'm no longer the start player. Um, I'm no longer fourth, but I had already lost the dice roll. And I think the one food is compensating the loss of the dice roll because um, I played um, Rooster because I was fourth. I wouldn't have played Rooster if I wasn't fourth, right? Like if I'm seated second, I'm not gonna play Rooster because I'll just save it for around 14. Compensation argument is what I'm saying about card design. If the one food round five rule was actually a rule, the rooster text would be different. Uh, that's true. It is something that we're trying to implement just to kind of balance, to balance out the game, make things a little more equitable.
Yeah, so I guess it's something that would have to be ruled upon. Like, for me personally, the one food should get assigned when you're... when you lose the dice roll. Because I think that's what it's compensating. But, uh... I don't know. Either way, I'm stomping this game. Hopefully. Wolfie can't eat from gluten-free baker. The house rule should then be the player who plays the fourth action in round one. Yeah, and that's what that's what Wolfie is. That's what Wolfie is arguing that that's what's happening. Um, which I don't know. It just doesn't. Like, mechanically, that's so weird. Like, what if I did something where I skipped an action, right? What if I had the opportunity to play an action, but then I played a minor that lets me reveal a minor that lets me skip an action and get a food or something, right? Then all of a sudden, I'm, uh, I'm affecting who the fourth action is. I don't know. Like, I don't know what... For me, that's so weird. For me, that's so weird. Like, yeah, I think it, I think it makes more sense if it's against the intent of one food round five. Well, so why why should I ever what, like the thing is, Maruska, I drafted Rooster. I gave up a useful a useful minor improvement spot in order to take Rooster. Right. And if I gave up a useful minor spot to take Rooster, I should uh, get compensation for it. Um, what am I doing here? Reedstone food, maybe? I could also do four clay. Four clay. Four clay and then build the clay oven and then play Ashbringer? No. Reedstone food for now is fine. I get what the intent is. So the thing is, if thing is pain passed me rooster. So you're saying that there should be no downside to passing rooster because if you pass rooster, then it's okay because you're, oh, you're guaranteed to get one food as so long as the person after you takes it, which, um, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. I, I just mechanically that doesn't seem to work to me. But I mean, if you don't want to be fourth, you can draft Rooster, right? And that's what I did. I did not want to be fourth, so I drafted Rooster. So, like, I'm getting punished for having drafted Rooster, for saying I don't want to be fourth. And I don't think that that is, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's the way it should work. Yeah, four clay is enough for Renault clay oven or Renault pottery. Grow, day labor, reno stone oven. Doesn't sound too bad. Family growth and play my quarry. Ashbringer does need an oven, yep. Still got flagon in hand for future future food income. Maybe maybe building the well makes sense.
Yeah, Ashbringer costs the clay. Yep, that's right. So that's where stone oven is better or the pottery. Now, the thing is, I don't really want to spend an extra stone because if I do spend an extra stone, then that's going to slow down my getting to a stone house, which I kind of want to do with foreign labor. But I guess if I'm going to get up to five family members, it's not such a big deal. Payne is playing Leftovers. Leftovers is really good. Really good card. And then he also played Plowmaker. Yeah, Plowmaker is nice. Um, mm, day Labor here. I could, I could just build the well. Maybe I'll do that. Like it'd be nice to get Ashbringer online, but I I have kind of access I kind of have access to a lot of wood already. Like fence dealer, I'm only one wood away from um, hitting all my all my fences with fence dealer. And uh, Wolfie has hedge keeper, so start player Ashbringer. Yeah, yeah, that does that does make a lot of sense. That does make a lot of sense. Thing is, I don't even need know if I need to start player next round. Wolfie is not close to building a room, and uh, Zhengao is not close to building a... Well, Zhengao is a wood action away. Thing is, Zhengao also needs to take food and probably wants to... S no, I guess Wolfie blocks, so... So Zhengao is going to reno and do some build some major improvement. Yeah, you know what? I do want to play Ashbringer. So yeah, I do like the line where I play Ashbringer for sure. I'm just wondering if the well is better because it's of the extra point. Um, oh, we'll build the stone oven, sure. And then we can eat a cattle and a reed to feed six, and then one more food to feed seven. Looks good. And then Wolfie plays farmer. I kind of want to build both. Yes, I, that's, that's exactly right. I kind of want to build all the majors as many majors as possible. I have no idea why these guys let me grow in round six. That made no sense whatsoever. And yeah, I'm not fighting over the one food. I don't care about the one food. The one food, like I'm probably gonna win this game. I don't, I really don't care about the one food. It's the principle, yeah. It's like, I think the rules are set up in a certain way. We've got four actions here, which is pretty great. Yeah, Zhengao might uh, might start player and then build a room. So I could just first action start player. That's fine. Maybe I don't even play fence dealer. If I decide I don't really care about the field that much, maybe I don't play fence dealer and I can fence 15. So we'll start player Ashbringer here. Wolfie and Jingao are enjoying themselves on the plow space. Wolfie's getting an extra two food, and Zhigao is getting to spend two food to plow without using an action, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. What are paid first pick over farm steward? Husbandry worker? Writing maniac? Maybe we haven't seen the card yet still. It's possible. 
Payne playing Swing Plow. So he's going to do eight fields at once with Plowmaker. Right? Because Plowmaker is one extra. Yet yeah, one additional. Yeah. Then I play my Farm Steward. Plow a field. And I guess we'll just day labor here so that I could build the well. So two food, three wood, three stone, and a cattle. Seems like an okay action. Seems like an okay action. Yeah, I think probably not playing Fence Dealer makes sense. I should have access to enough wood that I can just... That I can just uh, Fence 15. Where's the Church Warden? Where's the Church Warden? Um, I'm going to build the well here. Feels like it's been a while since I've uh, built the well. Let's see your wells in chat, guys. Wells in chat. And then my last move could be for wood. Could be three reed. Four wood came back, that works. No one's threatening my room, so six wood will be available next round. So yeah, I think we're not, probably not gonna play Fence Dealer anymore, so. Four wood seems fine. And I can definitely build the joinery, for example, if I would like to. Or if I don't build the joinery, I can build stables. Four wood into six wood seems good. Worth playing for the field. Uh, I can't get the animal husbandry worker points. So if I can't get the animal husbandry worker points, then it doesn't seem like the right move to me. Escape grace for two points. Yeah, when you're playing this card for um, for two points, it's not really very good. Yeah, exactly. I can't. I exactly. Yeah, it 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 prevents me from fencing an additional thirteen or whatever. So breakfast outdoors here. That food is still on the table. Payne is going to plow four. That's a lot. <laughs> and Wolfie's at five fields already. And Zhangao is plow deal maker. So I think I should get the rest of my ox or the rest of my cards pretty easily. Uh, should I fence? I think I'm going to fence 15 here. Yeah, this wins us the animal husbandry worker points. Yeah, because then I can take two sheep, two cattle, two boar will be available next round. I can day labor and then, yeah, I can day labor and then reno joinery. Yep. 
I can start taking crops. Oh, um, I need to family growth. I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot that I want a family growth here. Yes, because I'm only at four family members and I can go up to five. Right. Right, right, right. I forgot about that. Yeah, five family members and around 11. Seems good. Shingao took four read. That's kind of annoying. Uh, probably just day labor here. Day labor and then family growth. Especially because I get another cattle, which lets my cattle breed. I didn't... Yeah, that works. Jinkao plays Carrot Harvester. Works nicely with Gardener. Yep. So there's some nice interactions out there. I just happened to get the best one. Yeah, this has just been like really, really, really strong. Uh, I guess I can play Piggy Bank. I won't use it, but I can play it for a plate improvement in case that matters. And we'll feed six food and a reed. Yeah, I was really rewarded for my cattle rancher pick. Well, for getting it. Did I get it fifth or sixth? I wanted it to come back on the rebound. I got it sixth, did I? Wolfie's complaining about plow so. That's too bad. I don't care about plow so. Uh Shingao might. Shingao might might plow so here. Two boar would be nice. I'd be happy to take two boar. I'd be happy to take three sheep. Um I could plow. I guess Payne doesn't really like plow so. Payne likes just plowing normally. Yeah, Payne is well what space is he on, I guess is the question. I think I will probably build two rooms, right? Two clay rooms and then run out of clay, it looks like. So Plowso did come all the way back to me here. I don't really care about Plowso. Um, I kind of want to take animals first and then I can Plowso later. And I'll take the sheep because the sheep are a bit extra food compared to... Uh, Compared to the boar. Oh, I forgot to pick up my well food. Like, if I can take vegetable first, then I will plow so. If I, uh, my next move I will do, uh, if plow so is still available, I'll take vegetable. And then use plow so.
Payne is taking start player here, it looks like. To get family growth. Man, is Plow So going to come all the way back? If Wolfie does not Plow So here, then it will. Because Jingao will family growth. Payne might Plow So. I'll take the boar here. I can't turn down having three pairs, breeding pairs of animals already. Joineries on the table for me. Clay ovens on the table. Potteries on the table if I do a cl good clay action next round. Yeah, it's just kind of a stupid game. You're not supposed to be able to do this much. Wolfie. Yeah, so they are giving me plow so, which is pretty great. Um, I'm going to play Harvest Helper on Family Growth, so I won't take grain here. I'll let the Harvest Helper give me grain. So I'll take Vegetable and then Plow So. Does Plow So, Plow Deal Maker work on Plow So? No, it does not. Oh, pain plus so that's fine. I get to plus so next round. So I'll take vegetable here. I will do my day labor stuff. I will reno joinery. Yeah, looks good. And then I'll build some stables next round. All thanks to the rooster. <laughs> yep, yeah, you're right about that one. All thanks to the rooster. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll play Harvest Helper. Let's me plow. And I'll first action plow, so may as well. I don't think I need to. Like, these guys have not been prioritizing plow, so, but I will, anyways, just to be extra careful. I want the action for sure, so. Uh, here's interesting. Here's an interesting question Can I fence 15 and then play fence dealer? I may only build 12 fences, so uh, I've already built them. Yeah, I could ask about that. I'm not sure how that works. If I can play... So with, with the way Fence Dealer is... The question is, with the way Fence Dealer is written, can I paint start player again? Oh, man. Well, I'll plow a field. Sure. Yeah. Uh, is anyone building stables? Pain might build stables. Yeah, I guess I'll build some stables first move since uh, I don't want Pain to block me out of them. Um, so the question is, with Fence Dealer as written, can I Fence 15 and then play Fence Dealer? So if we ignore the remove the other three fences from the game, it says you may only build 12 fences. I've already built them though. So build implies it's an active thing. So my argument would be I'm allowed to, uh, 
to play Fence Dealer here. Because one of the things that uh, we've talked about is how occupations don't have prerequisites. They have can have limitations on their effects, but they don't have prerequisites. That's a that's a thing. Um, six food fishing here, or am I just doing day labor again? Probably just keep hammering day labor, right? I guess I could plow. Sure, I can plow. What was Chris's post? He was saying he hadn't thought of that. This is, this is old. This is really old. Chris says, I hadn't thought about that. What should I do? So the, the, they were asking about uh, what about fence builder? You know, what about cards that use um, unicycle driver? What about cards that use um, um, things? You can use the fences. And so uh, we've had an, uh, an errata that uh, we ignore the remove the other three fences from the game. So I think I think it works because of that errata. Just ignore the remove three unused fences from the game. Yep, exactly. That's been the ruling in the thing for a while. I didn't see if you wanted to deal. I don't think you said anything. I'm gonna assume not. Yeah. That's what I was looking at too, Rylocren. Yeah, F F S S S W W W A. <laughs> yeah, pretty good action. Pretty good action. Is anyone gonna build the pottery? Wolfie doesn't have enough stone to, right? So I could take the three clay and build the pottery. Yeah, probably makes sense. I could take a grain here. The grain is only worth one point though. Same with taking a vegetable. The vegetable is only worth one point. The three clay should be a bit better. And I eat seven food and a cattle. Oh, I forgot my well food again. Okay, so I can eat a cat. I can eat a boar. I can eat a sheep. I have one food in my supply and one food on the board from my well. So that's six food. So then I could eat a clay. No, uh, yes, I could eat a clay if I build the pottery. It puts me at eight. So then eating a reed or a wood or something gets me to 10. Or using day labor. Which day labor might be slightly worse than a four wood action. Just barely. Although if I do day labor, then I get to um, eat something else.
Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to play it then on Payne's Family Growth. And then what am I doing with this move? Four wood? Oh no, I, I can just build the pottery here, I guess. So yeah, I play fence dealer for a field and then play the pottery. Pretty good. This is kind of a dumb game. Three read, build a stone room. Um, hmm. The stone room would use my stone. At this point, I would have to do, I would have to three read, day labor, build. The thing is, the stable is not worth anything. It's not worth any points. Um... So I think no, just because the stable is not worth any points, I won't do that. Oops. Yeah, yeah, the stable is not worth any points, and then the stone room is only two points because. It takes away a point from Reed. So it would be a two point action. Which might be bet. Actually, two points might be. Might be the best thing available. Yeah, because what what's what are my alternatives? Take one vegetable. Where did Church Warden ended up end up? Payne's gonna build, looks like. Uh, Payne's playing his trees for the citizens here, not playing stables. Oh yeah, I forgot about rooster. That's right. The rooster point. Take three read. See if stable if uh, yeah if build a room makes it back I can build a room I guess point for Ashbringer yeah um, so I eat a cattle a sheep a boar for seven and two and then I can eat a clay without eating any points so sure yeah two point build a room seems fine. And uh, you know what, we can even build a stable to make sure that in case constable's out there, we don't lose any points to the constable. H-A-O-C-F feed 10. Help, Wolfie. Get an extra grain. So here's my final farm. It's going to be a pretty good one. 64 plus 67 final score. Jeez. Yeah, Payne passed me a bunch of stuff he shouldn't have. But you know what? I think I also probably got lucky with just what was open. Oh, 
What did Wolfie score? 40. 54. And 53 for Payne. Yeah. Um, Wolfie um, helped me a lot in round five, which he should not have done, I don't think. That was really good for me. And uh, Shingai was probably my biggest opponent in this game. Um, yeah, Payne had some nice points at the end, but Payne passed me a bunch of stuff for just a ridiculous game. Just a totally ridiculous game. I built one, two, three, four, five. I built six major improvements. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I built six major improvements. Oh man. Let's take a look at the draft. See, uh... Three, four, five, two, two, nine. I want to see what uh, what was Payne taken to pass me, what he did. So he first picked the Animal Husbandry Worker. Its power is higher than Farm Steward. That's interesting. I would not have guessed that it was as high as 4.3. 4.3 for Animal Husbandry Worker seems really high. Then he takes Raiding Maniac, sure. He takes plow deal maker or plow maker over fence dealer. I guess fence, yeah, fence dealer doesn't work with um, animal husbandry workers. So that's why he took plow maker. And then he takes shovel worker over cattle rancher. I guess with animal husbandry worker, he has a pretty clear path where he's going to get some fences down early. So shovel worker is more appealing. Cattle Rancher was really good for me. And if he had taken Cattle Rancher, then he, that's how he can pay for his Raiding Maniac with Cattle Rancher. Then he first picks Leftovers. Leftovers is really good. Leftovers is so good. Then he takes Extensive Resume. These picks, yeah, this pick wasn't didn't really matter. Takes Machete over Black Swan Lake, but I didn't even take Black Swan Lake. Lighthouse over Ashbringer. Yeah, so that's where if he takes the cattle the cattle dealer, then he can take Gashbringer here, and then I don't get past this combo. Yeah, it was pretty pretty good. Alright, um I'm feeling kinda tired. Actually, oh, maybe I can play. We'll see what Stixel's playing. I'm kind of tired, though. I need to take a little bit of a break. I can't jump right into another game. Um, yeah, let's go see what they're doing. G456. Yeah, okay, I'll play. I like that format. I need to take a quick break though. Okay. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, I am going to take the stream down for like a minute. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.